Welcome to session seven. It's going to be our last session and we're going to cover advanced Google Forms. So um, go, go ahead and log in and type in docs.google.com and then go ahead and click on create and um, spreadsheet. And then, okay, and then go to tools form create a form right and that's how you do um, the, the form and here is let's just call it test form explanation goes here and let's uh, make this real simple and see the first type of question is text so this means that they have free form text to type it in. So let's make this a required question and say done. Now here's um, sample question two already. So let's click on edit. And here we'll say what vegetable do you, do you like and why? I know these questions don't make much sense but we're just doing it to see how this works question type now um, let's do paragraph text so here they have some space to fill in the question uh, to fill in the answer to the question and let's click on done then we click on this duplicate button and this time we'll ask them what do you do you like your current class schedule schedule and again we have some explanation and let's see the next one is multiple choice right and you remember that this is either a, a yes or a no but you can't choose yes and no together um, so you can have let's have yes and let's click no here and note this nifty little option, go to page based on answers. So this can actually, if you click that, it, it can connect. So um, we're not really doing that here, but um, you can see that this is, you can have a whole bunch of questions depending on whether the person said yes or no. Um, so yeah, we won't um, do that um, for right now. Um, let's in fact actually um, delete, uh, change this to paragraph text and back to multiple choice again. So we have no and yes. Okay, and then that's it and we click on done and duplicate again and here we'll, we'll go ahead and type in this question in a second. We want checkboxes. So remember, if we use checkboxes, if we want more than one, if we want the um, respondent to choose more than one answer. So let's choose that. And which seasons do you like? Right? And the answer can be more than one. And here, let's say summer, winter. Fall. and let's put even an other um, where they can put something in um, and then let's go ahead and click on done okay and then we're gonna add one more question so we click here now let's look at the other option choose from a list so I'm gonna leave that just as it is and they're going to choose from that um, click on done and then let's put one more in and let's see what we have left scale and let's see do you like winter um, scale of one to five a lot and five not at all we click on done and then we add our uh, last and final question. OK, 
Okay, let's scroll down. Duplicate. Okay, I think this one was extra. So you can see that I typed in one question twice. So to delete it, I click on the delete button. And okay. All right, so now that's gone. So this is our last question. And now we're going to choose a grid. Right? And let's have um, a question um, which month do you like right and we have um, two rows and two columns and let's call this uh, January February and we call this beginning and end all right so that was the very last option you see that was the last one and we're done so um, we finish this form we save it and then we email this form just to see how it looks so I'm gonna send it to myself and include form in the email and send all right so that's done let's see what the published form looks like so what fruit do you like the respondent can type in something what vegetables do you like and you know they can write a whole essay about that um, they can answer yes or no on the current class schedule uh, with seasons they can pick multiple ones do you like and then again they can pick so you see it's the same question but there's a drop down box and they can pick one um do you like winter not at all which month do you like well i like um beginning january and in february right and then i click submit so now let's go back to our form and refresh and see what the responses look like as I told you, it's live, so the responses should come in right away. And here you can see all the responses came in for the different kinds of questions. Okay, so um, so in this session, um, we went over the different kinds of questions that you can have. It can be multiple choice. Um, you can write text. You can write um, freeform text. Um, that's multiple choice. You can have check boxes. You can have little drop down boxes like that. You can have a scale of one to five and you can have a grid, which is like that. And we also saw that once you fill that in, you get live responses in your spreadsheet. So that was our last session on advanced Google Forms and the different kinds of questions you had. I hope you enjoyed this session series on Google Forms and hope you will be using Google Forms again soon. Um, remember that you do need to use it regularly to get the benefit out of it. And there may be a few kinks, but after you use it a couple of times, it'll sort itself out. Thank you and have a good day.